So last week, Friday afternoon, I had uh, shared a Friday musings. And I said that I was getting ready to go to Bledsoe County Correctional Complex. So that's where this video is starting. This is the main entrance. I had to take the picture a little quietly. Didn't make a big show of it. But it's the main entrance to the unit that I was going to for the first time. There are lots of units and lots of guys transition through and being able to get out of their cell and come to a religious service uh, is a great thing because otherwise, according to the staff member I spoke to, they have one hour of rec each day, recreational time, during which time they can get in line and take a shower. Their cell has a steel bunk bed, a stainless steel commode, and a sink. And primitive living. But they were happy to see us, and we had a very positive time. Sister Josie did the presentation from King's about second chances. It was a beautiful day that day. I walked in there with my long sleeve shirts, but no jacket. And the next morning, I looked out the window, and we had a new event altogether. And the birds were happy for our bird feeder. I opened the door, took this picture. We canceled church service because it had been raining. The roads were frozen with ice and then covered with snow. And in the south, we have to take care. So, we're going to have Zoom church service, and we have a higher speed internet at the church. And since I was doing the preaching, I had to get to church. I was going to walk, but it was so bitter cold. Jan suggested I should take the car. And when I got out there, I had to clean the car off but still made it to church on time. So that's what it looks like at our Dayton Ogden Road Seventh-day Adventist Church. Our Sabbath school teacher, Brother Mateo, had his back to us. And you can see it says KD on the computer because we were having a Zoom meeting and KD is in Florida and she was participating there were a few people there. Bill Philpot was there, and he responded to Brother Mateo's question and gave a personal testimony. And there's Josie in the background, the one that preached at uh, prison in the I unit on Friday night. The next morning, we had a few hours at home. And then in the afternoon, 2 o'clock, our second and fourth Sunday of the month, fire training, T.J. Chisholm, the fire chief, leading a discussion. We then went out and did some work on Engine 91 to get it going. And this is out in front of uh, Lee and Josie's house. We stopped to retie the boot that covers the back end of the ladder. So Keith got this guy going and we're driving down the road. Decided to fill it up and Wes opened up the fire hydrant and we filled the tank. Tuesday night, our parish was meeting. 
We'd already had our soup and crackers and yeast biscuits that Jan made. A lot of people brought soup. And then we sat down. It was Wes's birthday. So Cherry made some cookies and a sheet. Uh, and then we're reading together from the book Great Controversy, reading it and discussing it. Wednesday passed, and then Thursday. So I decided I was going to reposition the water pipe that will feed our addition. And so I dug a trench. I had previously, when we did the water before, I'd previously put this pipe at this location. I dug a trench going over to the other end, and guess what I came across? Yes, I first hit the wire, uh, which is a warning yellow wire, a cable covered with yellow. And below it is a natural gas that is pressurized. So I was happy I didn't nick that. I extended the water pipe. It's coming up under the left-hand stone there that we got from Majestic Stone. And I extended our landing with a small step. So that was my afternoon project. And now, it's beautiful. Our door is open, just the screen door closed. Last time I checked, it was 77 degrees inside. Not that warm outside, but that's a recap of this week. This Sabbath, I'll be teaching the Sabbath school lesson, Lord willing, and serving as the platform elder. So Jan helped me this week. We prepared for our community survey that's beginning this Sabbath afternoon, Lord willing. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.